Hello, I'm Alex from Suicide Silence. A uh, little bit about myself is uh, I'm from Los Angeles. I grew up in Whittier. Um, I've been playing drums since 1996. Uh, basically what I got set up here is uh, the drum set I'm using currently, which is a 1998 Tama Rockstar. Um, basically I got a 10 inch tom, a 12 inch tom, and a 16 inch floor tom. My bass drum is 22 inches by 18. And um, this set is a little different from what I've been using live and what I use on the recording. This is basically just to do the segment for today and run through the songs. Ooh, 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 this is no pity for a coward. Two different types of blast I do in this song. Uh, the first one is a Euro. A Euro, I like to think of it as a really, really fast punk beat. I'm gonna play you the punk beat and I'm gonna play you a Euro and you can actually tell the difference. So here goes. This is a regular punk beat. So what? So what I'm doing is I'm hitting the ride every time I hit the bass drum, and in between I hit the snare, as you can hear it. A, a Euro Blast is a very fast version of that, as you can see. Now, if you want to go faster, instead of using one foot on the bass hit, you switch them so your feet don't get as tired. So this, is, this is what I'm doing when I'm not hitting the snare. This is what it sounds like. Now the objective is to hit the snare in between every time you hit that. This is what it's going to sound like. A really good warm-up technique is to duel with one foot, and this is what it sounds like with one foot. This foot will be off in the distance. That is a Euro Blast. I'll do the Euro Blast as it is in the song. The other blast I do, um, I don't know if there's a name for it, but I just call it a straight blast. And what I'm doing is I'm matching up, this time instead of matching up my bass drum with the ride, I match the bass drum with the snare. So every time I hit the bass drum, I hit the snare. I'm going to show you. It's very good practice to learn how to do that. Um, I recommend if you're a drummer and before you play, you know, you can set up your pedals and play them against a the wall. A lot of drummers do it and with a practice pad. It's good to just train yourself to, um, to get used to playing the bass drum and the snare at the same time or the bass drum and the ride because either way it's going to take a place for each other. Um, and now what I do with my left hand with a straight blast is I do single hits on the china. You can use a china hi-hat, basically whatever you want. And this is what it sounds like when I do it. And those are the two different blasts I do in that song. It's very important to do the correct face when you're doing a blast. For, for example. Alright, that concludes today's chapter on learning these songs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I mean, anything is something. I try to go over what I can. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get back and uh, teach you more stuff. Um, We're currently in the process of writing another album, so even then we'll have new stuff to, to give you. Um, 
And uh, yeah, hope you like what you learned and uh, apply it to your own skills and and yeah, keep it real.